Okay, so I guess the main thing is we're going to be making a plate and gusset real quick. And I think some of the, there's some fundamentals that are pretty useful in order to do this. So I guess the first thing first is you want to make your stuff parametric. So and when you do holes, you want to generally dimension to the edge of the tube because it'll be, things won't instantly explode if you modify the tube pattern. And then you'll just run linear patterns for your actual like gusset or whatever, or plate. So this is for like, if you're just running a plate or whatever, you can just run something like this. Uh, you can also use the use tool, which I show in some of my other tutorials and that also works. Though this, uh, but for general plate design, I would recommend using a linear pattern here instead and, and having all these holes that are a little bit more parametric. So afterwards, the next step is we want to, I don't really have anything in specific that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to have two gears and like a motor. Uh, so one point one two eight. actually we'll do two gears and motor and like have that attached to a belt run. Why not? So model our belt, we'll just do six, uh, motor, mol our motor, sorry. We do 60 millimeters and then we'll do the bolt circle here, which we can do two inches, go up here and then make our actual bolt hole like this. And then we'll, while we're doing that, we'll add our motor hole, which is the 0 0.75. Uh, we'll do a circular pattern as so like this. And then that gives us our motor. Uh, the next thing that we need to do uh, is go to West Coast Products Belt Calculator and we'll figure out a quick belt that we want to run. So we'll do an 18 to 24. We won't actually use this. But it's just kind of there. Uh, and then we'll do a... We'll run this from like a 28 divided by 20. Yeah. Something like this. We'll have the two gears mesh like that. And then we'll take the CC of this and subtract it. For our belt. Holy shoot, that is actually really long. We'll do like three. Okay. Something like that. After that, we'll just do some dimensioning so that everything is not interfering. Kind of see, it's all like. Yeah, we'll find seven five. Something like this. So now we have our things, all of our gears, some of our holes. We, we want to also figure out where we want to put standoffs. So we'll put a standoff here. So we'll model the size of the actual standoff and we'll add a 1032 bolt like this. And then we'll model like a 16th between the gear. Actually, we'll do an eight. That's probably a little bit safer. Something like that. And then we'll do another Connecting, if we made a line here, we would make a, another hole standoff about here-ish. And what I can do is we can do something like this and midpoint it. And that gives us our second standoff. So once we have that, we can start making our plate. So as you see, we've made all of our holes. And once we make all of our holes, we can now make our plate using our hole locations. And you'll see this pattern in a lot of the tutorials where I make all the holes first. And then only once all the holes are finished, then we make the plate. 
and that makes everything a lot easier to fix and modify in the future as well. So we'll make arcs connecting everything on all of the edge holes, and then we'll connect all the arcs using these lines, like this. And then we'll tangent everything as so. After this, we'll dimension the hole to the side of the to the edge of the plate to get a relative thickness. And yeah, that's it for a sketch. We'll disable on printing as an extra. Dip. And there you go. Uh, I guess some more general things if. You're not a fan of the thickness of this because it's a little bit too thin. You can probably delete this. Let me see if I can mess around with it. Uh, we can press the tilde key to unconstrain this. Do something like this. And then set that as a real length of 0.25. And then we can fix everything like this. And yeah, we have our plate. That's kind of it. That's the fundamentals of making a plate. Once again, we make, we make all of our holes, figure out our motor, our motor, our CCs for everything. So our center center distance is for a gear, our belt, our bolt circle for our motor, add the motor hole, add some standoffs, and yeah. If you don't need standoffs here, then you don't need the standoff holes, but that'd be my general process. You can also pocket it, but pocketing is for another video. Good luck. Have a good day.